the gallery is getting a new gallery. That sounds weird. Sterling Gallery is getting a new location. That makes that makes more sense. In fact, actually, this red couch here is going to the new location. I just picked it up from the frame shop uh, after dropping off like 200 prints for my upcoming show, April 19th, 2024. Be there. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's probably froze up a little bit. Gotta wait a little bit. You know, we're just gonna put it down and clean the floor after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay, it just needs a few weeks of breaking in. Breaking in! Breaking in! <laughs> yeah, Sean said that he's been coming in here over the last three weeks and doing this. And actually, it is a lot more comfortable now after three weeks. And even if it wasn't, it's a great place to store my skateboard. Although it might look a little weird sticking out like that just put that under there don't want anyone stealing that there we go that's better now they still don't have a coffee table here although we might be able to remedy that with a certain crate table that i made specimen is rare, but it can tell us a great deal about how the animal lived. I'm having an art show coming up here and the gallery provides a table for doing your dedications and signings if anyone buys your art. Who knows if that's going to happen for me, but I just wanted a cooler table, so I made this. Come check it out, April 19th at Sterling Gallery. We'll see. Uh, but we do have this table here now, which is actually art. I brought that over from the gallery on the other side of the mall last time I was here, which I mistakenly thought was the grand opening of this space. But wait, are you joking? No, you're not joking. <laughs> yeah, I guess nothing's here. <laughs> But you thought it was today too? Yeah. <laughs> I was a week early. Today is the grand opening. And check it out, we got a bunch of my open edition paper prints just ready to be taken home here. Well, we even have some of the space ones making an early appearance. These are actually reserved for my uh, art show, which is on the 19th, but why not? show people the new stuff I'm working on. So we got that one, which I think is my favorite of the series so far. I don't know what else is in here. Oh, part of my imagination series. That's rare to have in the gallery. Nice old piece, early piece. Another new piece, experimental piece, reserved for my show. But of course, why not have it here at the grand opening? It's just uh, advertising for uh, folks to be able to see what might be available at my show uh, in its original form. So if they feel like getting the canvas. And we got a bunch more here as well. Here's another space one. Look at that framed up, the open edition, like that. This actually comes in two versions. It comes in this smaller version, and then it comes in a, in a bigger version as well, where each of the pieces are uh, 11 by 17. I'm not sure if they have any here today, but they will have them 
at my show at the other gallery. Not the other gallery here, but the other gallery at the at the other mall. Got Bob Marley there. And of course we got a big canvas print of the Bob Marley there. Got a couple more of the space ones here. It's another one of my favorites of the series. And another from the Imagination series as well. And then some more here. Got Ray. Got the shark. Got the elk. I'm actually expanding my animal series. Today I actually was working on a bear piece, which is uh, out of my comfort zone. Freddy, back in my comfort zone. And then another one of the space ones. Probably one of my favorites. You know what? That series is so out to lunch, no pun intended, uh, that all of them are kind of my favorite. And then last time I showed you this room, it was unhung or partially unhung. It's now finished. And they actually have my Dylan piece up there. This is a uh, canvas print. It's a number one of 41. Looking good there. Didn't hang anything up on the uh, on the black wall. Didn't trim it out yet either. I might have to come do that for them sometime because that looks that looks very stupid. Maybe uh, maybe I could call Landon real quick and be like, hey, bring some trim because he's actually thinking about coming today. But uh, looks like they're just leaning in a couple pieces here. Got a Gabe Leonard and uh, behind here is one of mine, which actually sold, which is awesome. Thank you. They're coming back to uh, get it um, hand signed on the back uh, a little bit later during the the show today. I think I'm also going to do a little promo video for the gallery's YouTube channel as well to kind of advertise that this location is now open and ready to. Uh, 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 for customers, I don't know how you say that. What? Do you need help? I'll come. Mentally, in. yeah. <laughs> See that? Okay, jump on. I actually missed it, but uh, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Oh. oh. This is... <laughs> okay, there we go. I just don't want to squish my nuts. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Don't worry, your front face is you'll be fine. Oh, that was a little scrunchy. I need a little more fat on my thighs, I think. For those uh, those parts, yeah, pals, dude, we could make a coffee table uh, for the gallery, making a shed. You know what's behind those doors? Yeah, rooms. Yeah, rooms, but of what? Oh, is that right? Oh, that's why that lady. When uh, Landon and I were looking for water when we were doing the taping and stuff, she uh, she brought us all the way across the mall to go get water. But then that kitchen back here. Oh, that's a lounge in there. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's no water in here, just so you know. Because we came here and she was like, oh, let me bring you... All the way, oh dude, this, I gotta get up, I gotta get up. Yeah, yeah. So we went across the mall to another loading dock yeah. to get water and it, it's so far away, it doesn't make sense that there's not more water here. Okay, now ice. Shortcut through the hallway. <laughs> Ow, I hit my freaking ankle. Trying to make a 
smooth transition. Hold on, let's try that again. <laughs> Take a shortcut through the hallway. Okay, I think that should be enough, hopefully. Looks like enough. Probably. There we go. Uh, the show starts pretty soon, but maybe to kill some time, I could go across the way and get some $1,300 shoes. We'll bring it back here. But I have been finding some really cool stuff at a thrift shop. So this scene like this does not exist in the movie. So basically what I did is I just, as if the director or the cameraman or whoever was taking candid photos of the set was just over here on this side rather than over here in front of them. You know what I mean? Okay. I could probably even get it signed by Arnold. That would be sick if you got it signed by Arnold. That would be awesome. Yeah, I'll try it. Okay. Uh, do you want me to put in the title? Sure. Wait, we can do the title. Okay, the title is Get Down. Get Down. All angles? Yeah, that's nuts. That okay, is. flip it. Oh, and the screen on the front. Yeah, so flip. Wow. Screen there, screen there. Dude, that's nuts, man. It takes good pictures, though, hey? Oh, yeah. When did you start painting? Uh, I painted, started painting in 2012. I started finger painting probably around 2013 or so. Yeah? That one's not an original, that's the print. But it's number one. So you got, you got a bunch of stuff in here, or just the uh, finger painting? Uh, I started working on this new series. I don't have any of the originals here. They'll be at my show. But I'm doing these, these astronauts with hot dogs in space. So this is one where he's on the moon with a little hot dog thing. And then I, I did a... Uh, Space Are you? Yeah, I'm gonna buy that one. <laughs> you gonna buy that one right now? Yeah. Buy that one. Okay. That's like popped into my head earlier while I was driving here. That's hilarious. Yeah. So there's this one as well. This one's part of the series. And then there's that one. There's a lot more, but this is what they have right now. And this one can be hung in any orientation. It's gonna be a, probably the same price, 175. Yeah, any orientation for that one. And then you can also get it uh, in a slightly bigger size. These are open editions, but you can also get them in a limited edition as well. These are not released yet. They're they're just here, just cuts. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Only come back for that. All right. Right behind is the same piece, different matting. See which matting you like better. They both have the anti-glare glass. Sweet! You're the very first person to ever buy one. Yeah, so the show on the 19th, there will be all of them will be there, all the originals, and then a bunch of prints as well. If you're interested, come to that, and you'll see all the different ones. I even have one that's like a wormhole, black hole, and so the, the mustard is in a ketchup bottle, as if it's like a different dimension, and they did things differently there. So, oh, yeah, definitely interested in that one. <laughs> it's, I it's, like the wormholes. it's a lot of fun. All right, well, thank you very much, man. Appreciate you. See you on the 18th. Jason, 19th. 19th. 19th? We're doing uh, 19th, yeah. 19th, yeah. It's the Friday. Uh, we're doing door prizes, so you might as well fill out. Oh, and the door prizes at my show are going to be sick because they're all going to be made by me. Nice. So I have one of his cutting boards. Absolutely awesome. That's gonna be one of the. That's, that's nice, gonna be one of them. It's like five different woods. Yeah, or more maybe. Yeah, I can't remember. It's pretty rough. Who knew I would be the first sale of the? No, it's the other way. <laughs> of the uh, grand opening with a bonus uh, second sale of my very first space. Uh, well, it's a print, but you know, first space piece sold. I didn't even sell the first one that I made 12 years ago, uh, which kind of uh, is the reason why I'm doing them again now. That one I gave away. 
And so he's the first person to ever pay for one, which is pretty cool. Why would you do a garbage can like that? It's just a bag hanging over a chair. There we go. This is some pretty sticky plastic. That's better than hanging it off the chair. Okay, room temp water, razor blades to cut yourself, and a perfect garbage can. Yeah, what else do we need? Apparently, I'm not the first sale. <laughs> All these sold before me. <laughs> but I didn't see no one buy nothing, okay? So, I'm saying I'm the first sale. Yeah. You make banana cake? Is that like banana bread? Well, no, it's cakey and it's got a cream cheese icing. Is it amazing? Oh, yeah. Did you have any here right now? No. <laughs> go, <laughs> go, go get some. But I have to come to your show apparently. Maybe I'll bring it then. Keep banana cake. Banana cake. Okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> There's already going to be banana bread, so why not have a banana cake as well? Wow, winning. You're gonna get both of those. All right. You want me to just put that? Why not? Yeah. Okay. That's exactly what it's called. That's what it's called. Yeah. That's what you want me to write on there? All right. There, how's that? This one as well? The only problem now with this one is what if he decides he wants to hang it the other way? You don't know which way to sign Well, I have to make my decision right away. And besides, it's different too. Oh, that's way better now. So, yeah. It can be hung in any direction. The wire is here. So this is up. You're reaching out. Right. Right. Sure, but there's no up in space. We can do this one. It's okay. So, so you want you want this one reaching up? Okay. Okay. You want this one to say anything in particular? I actually don't know what to call this one. I don't have a name for it. Yeah, I don't know. I was gonna call it split decision. Because some people like ketchup, some people like mustard. Well, you know what, you got to cover your show to figure it out. And then yeah. Get that. Still put nothing on it. Just okay, sign just sign it. Sign it. it. Say, oh, you don't know what to call it yet? I'll, when you figure that out, buddy, then I'll get you the regular. <laughs> All right. On the bottom. If it's not too long of a name. Or, okay. Yeah. All right, know. perfect. Yeah. Same April 19th, you got April 19th to figure out a name for it. April 19th, yeah. Yeah. And then I'll bring it back and then. Sweet. Well, thank you. I love your shit, man. It's interesting too. Thank you. Three pieces I own. Perfect. Yeah, you got the you got an Einstein from before. Got one of these, and you got the oh. He's... Ah, I didn't know you guys were putting him out today. <laughs> I'll I'll have to drop off more to the frame shop now. What a, what a problem that is for me. A good problem to have. <laughs> All right, drawing for the door prize. Wait, you're not in it? No, you're not too late. Okay, okay you are too late. We'll do another one, okay. We have Wade O'Neill. Hey, that's me. Oh, you're here. I'm here. That's yeah. always best when the person is here. What do they win? Thomas Kincaid Cup. Sweet. Congratulations. Yeah. You don't know who Kincaid is? Well, he doesn't want to carry that around. Okay, well, you don't have to carry. I don't. I don't even work here. Oh, yeah, I'm just I a just, guy. Yeah. <sighs> 
does. Ah, guys, I ate a cracker, much like what Landon is eating right now. And I like coughed and it went into my nostril and I can't get it out. Ah. I need to sneeze, but I can't. Doesn't look like there's anything up there, but it feels like there is. <sighs> but what do you think about your handiwork? It looks good in here, right? All right, that's where he got his plumbing certificate, right there. They, they didn't do any trim. I was joking that I should call you real quick for you to bring some trim. They didn't do the trim yet, probably because they were busy with everything else, but uh, they only have this place until September anyway. Then they're gonna get, hopefully, their permanent location. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Oh. Should just get the measurements and should just stop by like at least with some casing for it. Yeah. The baseboard is whatever. Oh the baseboard doesn't matter. They didn't do baseboard around anything else, so some casing would be good. Uh Hey, Sharon, do you mind if we put a hot dog cart at the gallery for my show? Yeah. As long as there's mustard and ketchup. There will be mustard and ketchup, yeah. I have to make it, though, because it has to be some sort of food, whatever. It can't be exhaust and stuff, so it has to be all electric. So I'm going to make a hot dog cart. It's going to have an umbrella and everything. That's cool with you? All right. Well, my baby works in a hot dog stand. I'm making them hot dogs as fast as you can. Up steps the cat yells, don't be slow. And get me two hot dogs, let it go. Hot dog! She's my baby. Hot dog! Drives me crazy. Hot dog! Well, here at the end of the night, there's a fire alarm going off. And uh, as you can see, mass panic everyone is freaking out like you might expect no one cares no one cares at all anyway sold a few more prints and stuff at the uh, grand opening here so that was awesome thank you to everyone who came and thank you to everyone who uh, got some of my stuff Oh, no, I got it. There we go. Thank you. You can... Oh, yes, I made this. So you got to work? I mean, to here? No, I drove. So you tried to sell it? I just go through the mall. Huh? Well, you're going with me? What did you say? I'm with you. Oh, I was going to... Well, go by yourself, because you're faster. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's great. You know, skateboarding? Before you walk outside, yeah. there's the double door. Yeah. You go in there and you'll see arms. Okay, I'll see. All right, let's see if we can find a... Uh... Oh, turn, 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 turn. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can find a mannequin there. Because if we can, that's great, because I need one for my show because I want to have a astronaut that you can take pictures with. It'll make sense if you come to the show, show so you should just go. Oh. Okay, this does not have great turning radius. Okay. Uh, please don't go garbage in this bin. Nope. Dang it. No mannequin arms. 
Well, that sucks. No mannequin arms. Oh, they were probably here with these hangers and stuff. Hmm. No mannequins. Not even the arms. Hey Brent. Oh, that's sick. Mr. Bean. Who did, who's that? That's my buddy that did that stuff. Your friend? That's wicked. But hey, um, would you uh, dress up as like a mustard or ketchup bottle for my art show or no? No comment, I guess. You would? Yo. Yo. <laughs> That's a good color for you, Bones. Yellow. All right, that's it. The next show is mine. Fun fact, actually, the first show Sterling Gallery was going to have uh, was going to be me, but then uh, my brain decided to explode, and then we didn't do it. What? It's kind of a show. It's a grand opening show. It's a okay, whatever. The next event is mine. The next event is mine. It's going to be the best one. Uh, it's going to be very different than what they've done uh, in the past, and uh, uh, I'm looking forward to it. So, mark it down in your calendars. April nineteenth, twenty twenty four. 4 to 9, not at this location, at the bigger location, the London Dairy Mall. Also, I don't know who this guy is, but the doors have been closed for quite a while, and he's still here. I don't think anybody knows who he is, which is hilarious. <laughs> that almost could have been bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. Waste my time, will I? <laughs> yeah, bring everything to the back except for the thing that I grab. I would do that. 